men will fan out here. Now move slow and comb behind every rock. He's got a bullet in him. He can't be too far. And remember, a rat is dangerous when he's cornered. I know how to deal with rats. I'll drag him in on the end of this. Hartley, I'm going to tell you once more, this is a posse, not a lynch mob. This is a band of madmen we've been chasing. They've killed, pillaged, burned me out. They've Killed my wife. Well, Cap Fenner and his band are going to get no better from us than, than they've been given. And you can call this a posse if you want to, but we're going to shoot on sight and we're going to shoot to kill. I just hope that old friends don't try to get in the way. I don't like it, Ben. I just hope that none of them find that wounded man for we do. I'll catch up with the others.
Who is he? One of Capanna's camacheros. He's the one who had the money. I'll saddle a horse and take him into town. No, no, no. He stays here. I want you to go to town and tell Roy Coffey to bring the doctor out here. Tell him to come out pronto. Make sure you don't tell anybody about this except Roy. You understand? I know. Wait a minute. What's this all about? No, just do as I tell you. I don't want to argue about it, Joe. Look, you don't want to argue about it, but I do. And we both knew Jim Hartley's wife. I got a friend right now in town with a bullet and a maybe dying. You're worried about taking hey, Joseph, care of this? Joseph, I just told you to do something. Get into town. Tell Roy to bring the doctor out here. Do you understand? Now move. Mosquito, I ought to yank you off that horse and beat your head against a rock. How'd you let him get away from you? They shot Amigo's horse out from under him and put a bullet in him. He was dragging himself along the ground. Yeah, dragging the money with him, too. I'll track him, Captain. I don't care what happens to that <laughs> dirty peon. I just want to know where the money is. I'll find out, Captain, and I promise you that. I don't want your promises. I want the money. And don't bother to get back here until you find out where it is. Understand? Yes, sir. Now ride. <laughs> in pretty bad shape, but I've done all I can do for now. I still don't like covering up this sort of thing. You'd rather see that posse bring him in face down over his saddle, wouldn't That's you? your responsibility. Look, Doc, all Roy's trying to do is buy time for the mob to cool down. Well, I hope you're right. But I won't guarantee how the voters will react when they find out about it, or for that matter, some of my patients when they find out. You try moving him out of here, you'll find out that some of your patients and some of your voters may get killed. Doc, is it all right if I talk to him now? Go ahead. It's all right with me. What's your name, son? Hey! What's your name? Why do you waste time? Why don't you kill me? Ain't nobody gonna kill you, boy. Now just tell me what your name is. They call me Amigo. What are you going to do with me, Sheriff? Well, that'll be up to the court to decide. The court? I'm a Mexican, Yaqui Indian. What court is there for me? Well, let me just say this. If you tell us where Cap Fenner and the rest of his men are, it'd be a mighty big help to you. I do not turn on my friends, senor. You're wasting your time, Roy. Men, regardless of what I think of him, he's still a patient. I've got to get some food into him. I'll get up soon. I'll pay something. I'll be right down, Ben. Now you think over what I told you here. Ben, I shouldn't risk taking this money out of town. Could you keep it in that safe of yours for me for a couple days? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, I handcuffed the kid to the bed upstairs. There's the keys. How's your friend? He's badly hurt, but he'll pull through. Good, just so he lives long enough to hang. You're beginning to sound as bloodthirsty as Hartley. Or maybe that's because I feel the same way Hartley does. Do you mean that you'd turn that boy over to a lynch mob? Yeah, why not? Why not, Roy? It'll save us the bother of a trial. The verdict's already in. The man rode with Cap Fenner. He was involved in the killing of Hartley's wife. And the shooting of Jack Marshall and robbery. What more do you want? <sighs> Look, nobody questions the fact that it deserves a hanging. But if a man is hanged without the benefit of a trial, Whoever puts the rope around his neck is guilty of murder. I say, give him what he deserves. I don't care what the man deserves. We're not talking about that. It's still murder. If you want to put a rope around his neck, go ahead. If you want to live with a murder on your conscience for the rest of your life, fine. Go right ahead. Look, Joe. 
Take some food up to him, will you? And stand guard. Made you some soup. How is it you bring it? You who hate me. My pa said bring it, so I bring it. Hey. I heard what you said about me downstairs. Well, then you also heard a good friend of mine got shot in that holdup. Now, just how do you think I ought to feel about you? I did not shoot him. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. My people say the son is in the father's image. Sometimes nature makes mistakes. You have a good father. And this is a fine house. Yeah, like those of the hacendados in my country. Only there I slept in the stables. With the animal. Where you would have me now. Or on the filthy floor of the local calabozo. Staring through the bars at the gallows. You're here, aren't you? I am here, see. But not because of you. I know you, young senorito. Come on, take it easy. Just make the arm worse. Cuidado, be careful. Animals like me can bite. That is what you think. Huh? I'm a dirty Mexican animal. Do you ever stop to think maybe that's the way you want me to see you? <laughs> but how can I be otherwise? You are the young patron. And I... I have known hunger and cold. I've been whipped in jail. And I've become a thief and a murderer, just as you say. Oh, you really bleed, don't you? Now, you really bleed, not just from your arm. <sighs> what do you think? You're the only man who's ever had hard times, the only one who's ever known hunger and cold? Well, I got news for you, friend. I've known a lot of men like that. But they didn't join up with a killer like Cap Fenner. Perhaps there was a... If there was no place else to go. His men hit Joe Benton's ranch here last night. Burned the house and the barn right down to the ground. Now, where were you? I was chasing Fenner. All by yourself, Roy. Now, what are you getting at? I'll tell you what we're getting at. My wife and daughter had to hide in that brush out there for over an hour. So Fenner and his cutthroats decided to leave. Then Hartley and the boys and me came up, and my wife and my daughter's hands and arms were burned. We brought her into town to see if Doc could patch her up, but he wasn't here. He was with you. The two of you were seen riding out together. Where'd you go, Roy? Who was Doc patching up? That common sheriff that's got a bullet in him. The one that we couldn't find. You're hiding him, Roy. I'm doing my job. And that's all I'm going to tell you. We'll find out where he went. When we do, we're going to hang that common sheriff. And we're going to come back and talk to you. All right, let's get out of here. Anything any better? A 
Does it matter, senor? Amigo. I'm gonna make you one promise. You're gonna have a fair trial. Now, ain't it? Senor, there's something you can do for me now. Those wild horses you round up for your ranch, they are hard to break, see? Yes, they're hard to break. What about them? What happens when you cannot break one? You shoot him. No, sometimes you shoot him. I prefer to set him free. Senor Cartwright, does a man have no more right than a horse? Has he less right to live and be free, respected? Yes, every man has a right to that. And you can help me, senor. Let me go! That horse hasn't broken the law. You have. I'm not judge and jury. What you're asking me to do is impossible. You are judge and jury here. And you have just condemned me to die. Pa, Hartley in the posse are just riding in. Stay here with him. Yeah. Yeah, you are happy now, senora. We want to talk to you, Ben. All right. I'm listening. Well, it, uh... It seems the sheriff and the doc went riding last night. Well, we did some tracking. We figured that they, uh, they came here. We want to know who's sick in your house, Ben. <laughs> Hartley, I... I don't think I have to account to you for... Who's sick in my house? You don't have to, Ben. Or you don't want to. <clears throat> now you have something to say, you go right ahead and say it. Unless I got things to do. Like taking care of a wounded common chero, maybe? Sheriff Coffee wants to question me, I'll talk to him. We're gonna look around your place, Ben. Turn me over to them, aren't you? Go on, get out the door. I said, get out the door! You can't stand us all off, Ben. And we're gonna search this place. Starting with that house. Well, I sure wish you wouldn't do that. It's, see, somebody's liable to get hurt. I wouldn't want that to happen. Neither would you. Get a search warrant. I got one right here. I told you about old friends trying to get in the way, Ben. And there's only one of you and a whole lot of us. You better get out of the way. Who's going to get it first, Hartley? Fa. Go on, let them in if that's what they want. Look, I know how you feel about men taking the law in their own hands, but we got nothing to hide. Make up your mind, Ben. All right, let's go. All right, look in there. Maybe we're wrong, Ben. I hope we are, but uh, we're still going to take a look around the barn and the bunkhouse. All right, let's go. What'd you do with them? I kicked them out the back door. You 
kicked him out the back, just like that? Yeah, just like that. That posse would have killed you to get to him. I didn't figure his life was worth yours. Joe, we're talking about a man's life. We gotta get him back here. I tried, Captain. There were posses everywhere. Twice I almost got shot out of the saddle. But you did find his horse. Sure. Horse was dead. But he could steal another one. I told you to find him. Captain, that amigo ran with the money. Consuelo, where's my dinner? Coming, Capitan, pronto. I told you not to come back here without him and the money. Captain, there were half a dozen posses around. I could have caught Amigo, but if I tried to catch up with them, they'd have strung us both up. You're a liar, and a fool, and a coward. I make you my lieutenant, because I thought you were less a pig than the rest of them. But you are even more stupid than they are. Captain, it wasn't me that tied the money bag the wrong saddle. There was a day when I had real men in my command. Soldiers. The finest Virginia ever produced. Men who were proud to follow a dream. Men who fought and died well. Even after the dream, they're gone. We too are proud to ride with you, Captain. <laughs> and now, I have the sweepings of the border gutters. The unclean, the filthy, the illiterate. And for a lieutenant, I have a man so stupid, he thinks I do not know a lie when I hear one. Captain, I saw the tracks. I want no tracks. You invented them to cover your mistake. Consuelo. This Consuelo here is Amigo's treasure. He would not run off and leave her. Carson. Yes, Captain. Shoot this fool. It'll be a pleasure. You don't want to kill me, Captain. Captain, you don't mean it. Consuelo, oh, you how do you feel? Oh, fine. I... How do you feel? Oh, fine. I... You are wounded. No, oh. it is nothing. I have had a doctor. Estás seguro, sí. amigo. Capitana, I got back as quickly as I could. Amigo, where's the money? I do not know. I was a prisoner there, then there was a sheriff and a doctor. I... Amigo, you say you were prisoner? Where? Great rancho called De Ponderosa. I've heard of it, Captain. That's the Cartwright spread. It's Cartwright? Is that the man's name who owns the ranch? Say, Ben Cartwright. He also has a son named Jose Joseph. Well, amigo, how did you. How'd you get away? This Joseph. 
The bossy came to search the house and he pushed me out the back door. Why not give a little surprise party for this Cartwright, eh, Captain? A uh, house burning. Good idea. Por favor, no, Capitan. Senor Cartwright was very kind to me. Had the doctor take care of my arm. He, he gave me food and a clean bed like I have never seen before. before. <laughs> Please don't, don't burn his house. Not getting soft, are you, amigo? No. I do not repay kindness with a torch. Now, amigo, you're going back to the Ponderosa. And you're going to find out where the money is. No, Capitan. They were keeping me for a trial and the gallows. If I go back, I will die. You have my word. They will not take you to trial. But even if I go back, they will not tell me where the money is. You will go back. And you will listen to every word they say. Now, sooner or later, they will talk about the money, who has it, and where it is. When you find out, you drop a white cloth out the window. We'll come for you. Capitan, please don't send my husband back to be killed. Would you come get her out of here? Oh, my God. Oh, you make one false move, amigo, and your wife won't live to have that family you're waiting for. Oh, oh. Amigo, we have many knives. Now you go back to the Ponderosa and learn where the money is. I will see that your wife is well cared for. That is, unless you fail me. I will not fail you, Capitan. I can't understand it. I looked every place, no trail, nothing. He must have gotten up into the rocks. Well, as soon as it's daybreak, we'll try again. I'm sorry, Bob. If worried about you harboring a criminal, I let one go. Go, we'll get some sleep. If he's in danger, you hide very well. My arm, senor. May I go to my room? Gracias. Sorry to disappoint you, senor. trust me very much, do you, senor? I don't trust you at all. I came back. Oh, sure, you came back. You got a posse out there waiting to hang you. You know this is the safest place you could be. There are no bars in the windows, but it is still a jail. Soon you will take me to another jail and then to your courts, and after that to the gallows. Oh, come on. Come on, what do you want me to do? Feel sorry for you? You ride with a bunch of killers. You murder, you burn. You're asking for a hanging. What did you expect? When you are hungry, that is bad. But when those you love are hungry, that is worse. I've had too much hunger in my life. And that is why I joined Captain Fenner. He gave me food. So you ride with a killer because he gives you some food? No, and because I have dignity of a job. A 
job. What, is killing a job? Do you ever think of getting some honest work? If I were to come to your door asking for work, would you have given it to me? You know my father. What do you think? A man can stand so much pain. Only for so long can he stand to see pain come to his loved ones. I want a better life for my son. Your son? No. If this were to be... If I had a son. You told me your people say that a son is made in his father's image. Let's be thankful you don't have a son. Come on, get the cuffs on. What did you do to your hand? Nothing. And we said. How'd you cut it? On a rock. It looks like it was done with a knife. Did not expect you to believe me. I couldn't believe his story. He told me the other day about cutting his hand. I've seen too many knife wounds. So I figured I'd come back today and have a look around. There's the tracks I followed the other day. They disappeared up into the rocks. The tracks of the two horses and the other tracks leading back are fresh. They weren't there the other day. Only one place you could have gone to get a horse. Cap Fenner. Yeah. Cap Fenner. Keeping those passes busy, Mosquito? Our band will hit in five places at the same time. All right, let's ride. You know the next move, Mosquito. Okay, let's go. Here! to fit into a pattern. Then it's coming chairs hitting a dozen different places all at the same time. Sheriff's posse is not able to keep up with any of it. And none of the strikes in this immediate area. Now, what do you think, Captain? Is trying to draw attention away from the ranch? He's an ex-cavalryman. Sporadic raids to draw the strength away from the main targets. An old cavalry trick. Amigo must have got the Fenner's camp. The Fenner must have sent him back. For a reason. <laughs> you must think that the money's still here. If Fenner and his men hit us, we're gonna need some help. Yeah, we sure are. Hoss must have got the herd up to the North Fork's meadow by now. Joe, I want you to ride up there. Tell Hoss to leave as many men as he needs there to keep the herd from scattering. Get back here as quick as you can. All right. On the way back, I'll stop at the line camps. Get as many men as I can. All right. Keep a good eye on Amigo. I intend to, Joseph. You went up the back way, went up the hill, and you hid there till the posse went away. See, until I was sure they would not come back. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Joseph went out looking for you. I heard someone. The rabbit who lifts his head to see the hunter often will get a bullet for his trouble. This is not true. You uh, begged me to let you go. And Joseph let you go. And you had a wonderful chance to escape. And yet you came back. Amigo, I can't help wondering why. Where else could I go, Senor Ben? Who else would give me food and shelter? Well, Joseph went to have another look around after he came back. Found some very interesting tracks. One set of footprints, two sets of hoof prints. Uh, Joseph was mistaken. The footprints were leading south. And the hoof prints came up from the south. From the hard rock country. Now, Chef Coffee and I think that Venice Camp is in that area. I think you know exactly where it is. I think that you went to Venice Camp when you were gone. Yeah, you have already made your mind up. What can I say? The truth. Just say the truth. Now, Sheriff Coffey told you he'd speak up for you at the trial if you'd help us find and capture Fenner. You asked for mercy. Now, here's your chance to earn it. I heard the horse riding away. Joseph is not here. Have you sent him for help? Why, are we going to need help? Is Fenner going to raid the Ponderosa? I have not seen Capitan Fenner. I was not in the camp. Do not ask me! You're really not a very good liar. I was in the camp. Now, where is that camp? Where a man with a knife holds it at the throat of my wife. Even if I tell you where the camp is, it will not help. They're not there now. Where'd they go? To the hills to watch this house. I was to find the hiding place of the money and then drop a white cloth from the window. Have they been watching this house ever since you came back? See, if I fail them, the man with the knife will kill Consuelo, my wife and the child she carries. supposed to drop that cloth. From the bedroom window where I was a prisoner. Get up there and do it. Why are you doing this for me? Get up there and drop that cloth. It is done, Senor Ben. What do we do when Capitan Fenner gets here? I'll give him the money. And you'll uh, all leave. You would do this for me? You will drop your weapon, Mr. Cartwright. I'm Captain John Fenner, formerly of the Confederate Army. We captured your son. Oh, he fought well. 
is a brave lad. But unfortunately, courage does not suffice against a well-set plan. No need to beat him like that. No need. Mr. Cartwright, you are holding certain valuable assets that belong to me. My money, and I want it. You'll have it. But I want your word. And when you get it, you leave here. And no further harm has done my son. Our amigo's wife. Oh, so you and Mr. Cartwright have been talking, yeah, amigo. Did you also tell him what would happen if you failed to locate the money? Well, no, Capitan. I... It was the only way. All right, Mr. Cartwright, we have a bargain. The woman and your son for the money. You two outside, both of you, in case somebody happens to come in. Yes, Captain. It's all there. All of it. All right, I kept my bargain. You keep yours. Get them out of here. There was nothing said about you, Mr. Cartwright. You're going with us as our hostage. If no one follows, we'll release you eventually. Now, what about you, amigo? Whose man are you? Cartwright's or mine? No. I am your man, Capitan. I made him trust me, so he would tell me where the money is. No, I swear to you. I give you my word. And you have my word, Mr. Cartwright. You wanted your son for the money. And you will get your son, but dead. Carson. Capitan, let me shoot the young senorito. Shoot him? I thought these people are your, your friends. They are not my friends. He tried to use me. He wanted me to tell him where your camp was. No. In his eyes, I am a stupid Mexican peon. Let me shoot him with his own father's gun. Huh? With his own father's gun? Seguro. Yeah, amigo. Huh? Yeah, but only one bullet. Just one bullet. Uno. Get done with it, amigo. I have seen you do this with other prisoners, Capitan. I wanted to be like you. <laughs> you 
stupid, illiterate peon. Shoot! <laughs> See me, Capitan. or died. I never thought there was a, a thing about him that was decent. You know, Joe, it's awful easy to see all the wrong things that the other fella does. It's a whole lot tougher to why he did him. Man can do an awful lot of good with his life. If he has an even chance. Amigo never had that chance. Well, his child will. I'll see to that. We'll see to that. 